Hello my friends, this is the third video about VOA gap. Uh, and uh, I hope uh, the first uh, two videos was interesting uh, to you uh, and we continue our job uh, with uh, Yari. Uh, today, today we will uh, talk about the de-expedition and how uh, VOA cap uh, can help uh, for the uh, people who are going to the de-expedition. Hello, Yari. Hi. We met each other the first time, uh, and uh, I hope that uh, today we will uh, see uh, um, a little bit deeper uh, to your uh, wonderful tool. Uh, and uh, could we uh, dream about the D expedition? Uh, maybe I will uh, dream uh, to go to the Buve Island. <laughs> More one that the, the expedition will be really uh, in uh, January 2023. Yes, absolutely. So, uh, so now we are going one step further. So, so far we are talk. We have talked about you know uh, point to point predictions. So, from one transmitter to one receiver, and now we are talking about one transmitter to multiple receivers and uh, that means that that you know uh, we will uh, have a kind of a collection a collection of point to point predictions that will cover the whole globe mm -hmm. so when we have that so then we can we can draw you know a coverage map over the world map so uh, and that also means that it it we, it's it's a question of thousands and thousands of uh, calculations point to point calculations which means that it will take a little bit longer time to 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 complete mm -hmm. but we will see how it works you know in the VOA cap online service great let's go yeah let's do that the D expedition will have uh, the call three Yankee Oscar Juliet Bouvet and uh, will be in the January February 2023. It's actually three Yankee zero Juliet. Three Yankee zero, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <Yes. laughs> now there's a new thing so now when we have you know these coverage maps so um, there are three maps which we can which we can choose from and the maps are actually located here in the creep button zone so we have uh, maximum usable frequency maps we have the reliability or rel map which is the probability for the QSO. And then we have this SDBW map, which, single, which is signal strength map. And signal strength is something that you can see on your S meter. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, we would be interested in this uh, signal strength map. So uh, this is what we will use. But before we hit the button, so we have to make some selections here. There are specific settings for coverage area maps. And uh, we have to choose which band we want to, to generate the maps for. Mm -hmm. So let's use, let's, for instance, 15 meters uh, and uh, UTC, let's say it's 15 hours of UTC and uh, range means how many maps or how many hours from 1500 hours UTC uh, uh, we want the maps to be generated. So let's say it's three hours. So then it will cover 15 hours, 16 hours and 17 hours UTC. Mm -hmm. So now basically we have all what we need to generate maps. So let's do that first and then we will see what else we can do so now everything is ready 
all input values are in place, we hit the SDBW map button. So let's do that. It will open another window, as you can see. And uh, this is the place where the, uh, the maps will, will show up. Mm -hmm. But now, as I said, so it will take you know, some time before they will be generated because there are thousands and thousands of uh, calculations to be made. And then when the calculations are ready, so then it, it must, you know, generate the map itself. So, so here we are. So we have three maps. They are like in miniature form, form here, but you can always make them bigger because these are really huge maps, to be honest. So, uh, so let me show you, for instance, this map from 17 hours. You, you right click on the map and then you choose open image in a new tab. And when you do that, so it will open it here. And uh, this is the map itself. So it is still, you know, you can hit the uh, hit the uh, magnifying class, so you will get the original size. So we can see that, you know, Bouvet is here at the bottom, you know, this area here, and you are here. So you can see that, okay, it's a little bit, you know, uh, mm, it's not that uh, powerful anymore at 17 hours. You can, you can a little bit, you know, uh, you, you will get the idea of the signal strength by using this, um, this scale here on the right hand side of the map. So this color, it's a kind of a, this blue thing here. So it's around here and what that could be, it's something like maybe, uh, S4, S5, maybe, I don't know exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, but let's say it may be, you know, S, let's say it's S4 or S, S3, something like that. So, so you have some chance on 50 meters, but at the same time, we can see that, that Southern Africa is very well, you know, that's the place where you can get contacts and also all this, which is green, is really, really good area of uh, uh, of reception. So basically, you can see that the rest of Europe, but not North Europe, is doing pretty well. And also, you know, Asia and uh, Northern Africa. So, so they have they have very good conditions to to Pouvé. So uh, that is how it is unfortunately we don't have a uh, good luck there but let's take another look so when we, we learned that you know we have you know these propagation charts here so let's see where where we have you know good signal strength so i am choosing the signal strength short path um, option here from propagation charts and then let's say that 15 hours. So let's go to 15 hours and see what is the best band. Uh, and it's, it's actually, actually we can see that 50 meters is the best band at that moment. So you can see it, all the bands are here stacked one over the other. So you, for every hour, you know what is the best band. So, so uh, let's see, so 30 meters, is pretty good at 2100 hours. Mm -hmm. So what we can also do, it's 2100 hours, we go back to settings, we select 30 meters, 2100 hours, we go here, and then let's, let's now do only one map. Mm -hmm. So when we have done that, we click again this uh, map button, and then we wait for the map. Now, when it's only one map, it's a little bit, you know, better. And uh, in, meanwhile, we can see that actually 1500 hours, you know, we can see here, Finland, it was much, much better. So, but we, here we have, you know, the map for, for 30 meters and I'm opening, a, opening that map in, in, a, in, in a new DAP. So here you can see how it looks like. Okay, we are again there, no, not so good, but mm -hmm. you know, otherwise we can see how the signal propagates away from Puve Island to the world. 
and uh, and this is the maybe the beauty of this uh, this coverage map that uh, you can see how your signal is propagating and what is important also to know is uh, that my antenna models when when i you know choose let's say uh, three element yagi or all these uh, directional antennas so they are not directional in 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 the voa cap service they are omnidirectional and the reason is that uh, if i would have used directional antennas so so the beam width of that antenna could be anything and mm -hmm. then then you don't know actually, actually what what in on in which part of the world the signal could be heard but you cannot see it because your your antenna is so directional that you cannot see that that on the map so all my antennas are directional which means that uh, you can see where that signal can be heard mm -hmm. even if your antenna in reality is directional so when you see that okay that the signal can be heard, for instance, in this case in, in India. So then you will point your antenna towards India and uh, you will get this effect. Mm -hmm. So uh, this you have to keep in mind that they are all omnidirectional antennas. Mm -hmm. and, and also one more thing. Now we are talking about, you know, these coverage maps for a specific hour. For instance, here, 21 hour UTC. So, uh, in fact, uh, you know, what that does mean is that, you know, that when 21 hour UTC means the time period 2030 to 2130 hours UTC. And uh, it does not mean 21 hours to 22 hours but 2030 to 2130 hours UTC. Okay. So the top of the hour is in the middle of that time period. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is something that you also have to keep in mind. Uh, Yari, it means that uh, we can make uh, different uh, maps like this and we will see all uh, our opportunities uh, to uh, to when we will be there, we uh, can predict all opportunities and uh, to um, to have uh, maximum possibility to work on the air from this point of the world. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, and this is something that I think you know the uh, the Pouvet Island expedition. <clears throat> they, I think, you know, they have very extensive uh, propagation charts and. And, and propagation maps available. I think, you know, they are adjusting the maps and the charts as we speak, because, you know, we don't know exactly yet what will be the, the sunspot number, but definitely they, they are doing a great job. You know, they are, you know, have better antenna models that I, that I have here. So this was with the antennas that we each selected. If you select other antennas, so then you can see a different results maybe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, was it uh, uh, REL map? Displayed was the signal strength map. So mm -hmm. REL map, if we want to do that, we can do it for 21 hours, you know, this 21 hours UTC as well so um, and it's, it's actually it is actually a good idea to do that because then i can show you that the the mode the transmitter mode that you choose it has a, an effect on the map itself as well so wow. so here is the map rel the reliability map which means probability for the qso so here you can see that the probability for QSO on 30 meters at that hour in January mm -hmm. is 50 to 60 percent mm -hmm. for your QTH, which is really good. That's really good. And here you can see that, okay, yellow 60 to 70 percent and the darker the color, the better the probability. So. Uh, 
And now we can see this is for the SSB. The reliability map, you know, it has a relation to the mode that you choose. Let's say that you are working FT8. Let's choose FT8 and uh, okay, 1500 watts. And then we make another reliability map. So let's see what happens. The reliability will, will be much, much higher. Mm -hmm. Let's see, because the required signal to noise ratio is lower. So, wow. and when it's lower, it means that you have better, better probability of uh, keeping that QSO. And now actually, we cannot see it here, but you know, this is 100%. So you absolutely have, you know, 100% mm -hmm. chance of keeping an FT8 QSO. It's so visual maps, and uh, uh, the, I think that's the most uh, um, uh, best way, uh, the best way uh, to show to the people how it looks like uh, the map like this. I am amazed. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it's a pleasure. <laughs> Every time you surprised me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, we should uh, wish good luck uh, to the team uh, who will uh, go to the Buvia Island. Uh, and we hope Absolutely. that uh, uh, yes. Sunspot will be enough for beautiful um, work, uh, pileups, many DX. Uh, and of course, we will be waiting to catch them on the air uh, because uh, not very often <laughs> someone go to the Bouvet Island uh, and uh, yeah, it will be uh, nice uh, to catch them uh, on the air. Uh, and Yari, thank you so much for your explanation. Uh, it is very interesting, really. And uh, I'm sure that uh, maybe uh, who are very experienced DX men, uh, they have already know uh, about uh, this uh, uh, tool uh, and uh, use them. Uh, but you know, my channel is also for the beginners uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, it will be very felt um, helpful for them uh, to know more about the hobby, to know more uh, about the sunspots, uh, about their uh, conditions uh, and uh, reflections. And it, it is absolutely mm. interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Raisa. Yeah. And talk to you soon. Put down your questions below and we will, we will choose the questions we can really answer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 73 and 88. Yes, there are the trees. Bye bye. Bye bye. Now we know uh, a little bit more about the propagation from the Buve Island. Uh, now you can uh, check uh, how will uh, it uh, work uh, from point to point, uh, from your QTH to Buve Island. Uh, uh, it will be very interesting. Uh, I think uh, next video uh, will be answers for your questions. So leave them uh, in the comments. Uh, the links uh, to um, VOA cap uh, and the link for the previous videos you will find in the description. Uh, all the best to the team, uh, to the Buve Island. Uh, we will be very happy to meet you on the air. I'm not sure that <laughs> I will be, uh, I will, it will be possible for me, but I still uh, have uh, my hope for it. Uh, thank you so much for your watching. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, all your uh, comments, uh, 73 and 88, and see you next time.